Hello and welcome to this week's episode of Track Rescue, where I take run-down dangerous tracks and turn them into destination riding locations. This time I'll be driving from Mile High Stadium in Denver, Colorado to Riverton, Wyoming to give my little brother Justin a birthday present he sure won't forget. But with miles to cover and less than ideal equipment, will the track get done in time to train on before Supercross Finals in Salt Lake City? I'm really starting to get nervous. And our crew struggling with some obstacles of their own. I, I, I gotta be honest, you know, it was such a mess. My hopes weren't really high. Will I give Justin the birthday present of a lifetime? Or will the whole project go off the rails? Find out today on Track Rescue. Packed up, good night. Headed out to Wyoming. See you guys in a day. So here's kind of a before of what Justin's track, he just roughed this in with a dozer one day when it was wet. It's uh, pretty, pretty gnarly, kind of sketchy. As you can see, there's not a whole lot around here, but we have Justin Hill. He, he built himself a super cross course and, you know, he, yeah, I guess that's what you call it. But you know, he hired me to come out here and uh, see what I could do to save this place because you know he's calling it the hill ranch but it looks more like the hell ranch if I'm being honest man I'm looking around here and I, I really don't know if there's anything I can do for this place man I'm trying to wonder that myself dude I think you should probably just head home you know? I, don't, I don't really see what you're seeing I think it's I think it's pretty good honestly I'm, I'm starting to regret that I called so this week I decided uh, I'm gonna rent this spend like two days in this thing and get it as legit as possible so we can get a day or two in before we head to salt lake supercross justin's down there working on the well so he can pump water into these two tanks be a lot of manual labor this week but hopefully it'll be uh worthwhile and fruitful wish us luck all right justin so you got you got the water hooked up how long until you think it'll fill? You know, I was really hoping to have it done about four and a half hours ago. It takes about five hours to fill. I'm really starting to get nervous. All right, well, once that's filled up, I'm gonna need you to get out of here. I'm gonna need a couple days out here by myself. I don't wanna ruin the surprise, okay? It's gonna be hard to leave my baby, but okay. All right, you're, you're probably hardly gonna recognize it when you come back. Welcome back to Track Rescue. With Justin now out of the way, but time dwindling, we really need to get down to the heavy construction of this course. Just as I'm starting to make some headway on the build, I get word that the Team Tedder boys have arrived. So I take a break and go down and see what they're up to. Here he goes. He's eyeing the takeoff. Just commit, commit, commit! So no, just pull like a slight I mean, little wheelie. No, it's, it's not the go up part, it's the, it's the excuse part. It's the go down part. There it is. Keep going! Oh. Run her down! Dude, the bike's leaking gas everywhere. Man. <laughs> Are you alright? Jeans, yeah, I'm shy. You rip your jeans? No. So as the boys dust themselves off and go get a bite to eat, it's time for me to get back to work. And by day two at sundown, I had the majority of the track all buttoned up. New rhythm sections built, jumps all straightened out and set to spec, corners squared up, and even had time to taper the edges. So, you see my first video? Here's what it's looking like out here now.
not perfect because I was in a hurry. But pretty proud of how much track I got done in a day and a half in a skid steer. And now, on my third day here in Wyoming, it's time to finally test the track. thoughts on the course how do you think we did what could we do to improve i think you did fantastic you know i wasn't really i i, I gotta be honest you know it was such a mess my hopes weren't really high but now that i see you you know you kind of finished it it's like my goodness what was possible you know <laughs> now that the work is done me and justin decided to take a little tour of his 300 acre ranch and do a little scouting for some future projects there's endless terrain that we could conquer out here. Junior Hills Ranch is just getting started. Cali boy, Caden's never seen rain before. <laughs> He's taking it all in. It's been lightning like crazy though. And as the rain started to come down, my time here in Wyoming had come to a close. It was time to hit the road and get down to Salt Lake City. Riverton, Wyoming is a little bit off the beaten path, but the views on the road are absolutely breathtaking. After 18 weeks on tour with Monster Energy Supercross, we finally made it to the finals at Rice Eccle Stadium. One last race to make our mark on the series. And what a night it was. Justin Hill grabbed his first ever career 450cc podium in Monster Energy Supercross. And I got my season best finish with a sixth place. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Track Rescue. Don't be afraid to hit the comment section below and tell us what you think of it. Also, smash the subscribe button. There'll be plenty more content uploaded soon. Thanks for watching.